If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. What's up guys, it's Jayco and welcome back to another video. We got some exciting news today for once about a new update slash tiny little minor DLC that may be coming to GT Online very soon. Last week we talked about something coming up in the next two weeks. Now we're about a week and a half, week away from that point and we think we might have found at least part of this little tiny minor update. Tezfun2 tweeted out on Friday, May 27th, a new daily collectible Buried Stashes was data mined from the LS Tuners update. The contract update added the cohorts all located in Cayo Perico and references to a metal detector needed for locating these stashes. These collectibles might arrive with the next update. Rockstar seems to have more plans for Cayo Perico as this daily collectible serves as one more reason to visit the island. And Re El Rubio, sorry, would have to deal with people with metal detectors. Rockstar, hear me out, diamonds for the Minecraft experience, maybe oil too. Now we could be wrong, this could come out within the next actual large summer update where we should be expecting it in July, but I'm curious what you guys think about this. Heading to the island not only to do intel for the Cayo Perico heist, maybe head there to find some cool collectibles like trading cards, I, I, I genuinely don't know what they have planned, but I know in Red Dead Online Rockstar had the collectible role and it was actually executed very very well, but then again Red Dead Online is not GTA 5's map, so it was it could be executed a little bit better on Red Dead Online, but with Ko Perico going there every day to find some collectibles, I think would be pretty fun if it's rewarding and well worth it, or maybe get some cool exclusive outfits or something like that. And I'm also curious what you guys have to think about them continuously updating Ko Perico instead of possibly making a new heist. I think I'm at this point on board of Ko Perico. I've done it so many freaking times that I just want a new heist. Whether we can do it solo or cooperatively, um, I'm down for whatever, honestly. I just want something new. Uh, to experience the GTA Online, especially something new to learn. But nonetheless, I think Rockstar can updating their game a little bit more frequently. This would be the second update that we've gotten between our bi-annual update experience that we usually get only two major updates a year. We got two minor ones so far, apparently. Well, one so far, but a possible minor update coming very, very soon within the next week or two. This could be the new collectible update. I don't know. We go there every day and get some new stuff like the Vespucci job remix. They actually released that a couple days ago. So, you know, Rockstar has been updating their game a little bit more frequently and it's good to see. It's truly good to see a lot of new players influxing into the game. And of course, GT Online is doing pretty well for themselves right now. Well, that's really all there is to say, and I'm curious what you guys have to th say down below, so let me know your input. And by the way, I have released memberships on the channel, so if you'd like to continue to support the channel through a monetary way or an investment subscription sort of service, you don't have to, obviously. It is absolutely not necessary, unless you think it's absolutely necessary. Of course, look out for yourself first. And uh, yeah, thanks again guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.